Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Discworld 2. When we last left off, we collected three sticks of identical length. Technically, we have all the items we need for the actual ritual. But since we're a completionist, and Rincewind doesn't have anything better to do, let's go get those dribbly candles. We need beeswax for that. There is actually beeswax over here with a beekeeper. But there is one more item we require first before we actually go and do that. And that item is back in the shades. Let's go back to the shades. Oh, hello, it's you again. Yeah. He says, hello, how are you? And shouldn't you be getting a move on and get death back on his feet? That's very clever. Where did you come from? You'd have to ask my yeah. mother and father. They never tell me. <laughs> That's just a familiar little joke. Yeah, a very familiar little one. That's just a little bit of sarcasm. You just wait until I get my own body back, young man. I'll give you sarcasm! Hmm. That was an interesting little encounter. Anyway, we need to go back to Mrs. Cakes briefly. Yes, I know. Back to Mrs. Cakes. There is an item I forgot to get. Now, um, there is actually more to this store than meets the eye. If you travel to the left... See? There's a closet, and a dummy, and a pair of scissors. Hmm. A dressmaker's pair of scissors. I'll have those! I don't even think they're useful for this part of the actual game. Jars. A good assortment of jars containing all manner of the latest accessories for the modern medium. Can I take them? I don't really have any use for these. Oh, what about the closet? A closet, just a place for the odd skeleton or two. Can we open it? It's probably locked. Oh, an ironing board. An ironing board? I'll never use it myself. I'll have it, though. It's something to collect. And now, a dummy. A wooden dummy. Hey, its arms are almost as dainty as mine. Can I take the petticoat? The petticoat? Ooh, silky. But at least you can see through it, if you want to, for any reason. Let's go get the petticoat. Be subtle about it, Rincewind. That was not very subtle, a Rincewind. Oh well. We at least have a bit of the actual material. A petticoat. Such thin and delicate material. I can see clear through it. Well, we are going to actually need that. And uh, don't mind us, Mrs. Cake. We just stole some of your items. Oh, look at that face. I don't think he was very happy to be pickled and put in a jar. Anyway, moving on. Over here we go, Rincewind. It's time for us to go and talk to the beekeeper. The beekeeper is somebody who is quite important and we do need to speak with. He's over here. And here are flowers. How oh, sweet. Lovely little flowers. Just what the bees need to do their work. And here are some hives. Beehives. I think worker bees are so nasty only because they do all the work and the queen gets all of the other. But, you know, a bit of romance, a bit of soft lighting, maybe a little cup of nectar shared with the drones. And I think worker bees could be as nice to get on with as anybody. Or am I just talking rubbish? All right, it was only a thought. I'll get back to the game then if you're so keen to always be practical. I don't know, you try to add a little bit of philosophical depth and do you get any thanks? I think not. Probably not. Here's the beekeeper. The university beekeeper. Look. Let's not hang around too close. He might try to talk to us. Unfortunately, we need to talk to him. Hello, beekeeper. How are you today? Keep loving them bees there, sir. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. <clears throat> uh, I said, do please keep away from the bees. They're very dangerous. You need the right equipment, see? A veil, smoke, that kind of thing. Oh, come on. They're not that dangerous, are they? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Last fellow here who tried to mess with that hive ended up stung, bewitched, and turned into the helpless love slave of the Bee Queen. Really? As the gods judge me, sir, he was off there collecting pollen day and night just for the privilege of seeing her mandibles crease up in a smile, sir. Awful. Awful the degradation he got put through, sir. Oh, gods, it must have been horrible. Yes, yeah, sir. The, uh, the pollen made me sneeze something awful. I think at this point I should uh, <clears throat> buzz off. That's terrible. That was terrible, Rincewind. Look, 
can I have some wax out of the beehive or do I have to get tough? Tough? What? Go in there and fight the queen herself? No, I mean get tough with you. You know, threaten. Offer violence. Intimidate you through use of magic powers, that sort of thing. Mm. There's no call for that sort of thing, sir. If you're going to take that attitude, I'm afraid I'm going to have to force you to go on a bizarre quest to find objects which will catch my interest and curry my favour. Oh, that would be a novelty. You've no one but yourself to blame, sir. Off you go. The days are wasting. Yeah, we're not going to be doing such a quest for him. So, you, uh... You really like bees a lot, then? Oh, yeah, they're wonderful little things, sir. Such rich and varied lives. Zooming into the hive and, and zooming out again and poetry, pure poetry in motion. No one pays them enough attention, sir, that's what I think. If only someone would give the little darlings the recognition they deserve. Hmm, quite. I mean, it's all ants these days, sir. Ants this and ants that. And ants can carry hundred times their own body weight. And yes, now, look. I mean, it's nothing a bee can't cap, sir. Look at your basic regurgitation process, or the fascinating little dances bees perform. Point. I see a flower filled with nectar. Point. Watch out for the spider's web over in that tree. Point. The clover's coming into bloom. Where's he gone, then? Oh, he was just getting into the really interesting bit. And then Rincewind ends the conversation forcibly by walking over to the right. We could make the observation about the beekeeper, which we will do before he uh, goes. Bees. The eternal mystery. How do they fly? How do they communicate? And why are all the workers dumb enough to go off and toil in the fields all day, leaving the queen lounging about, guzzling nectar and having a good time? We actually Goodbye for now. have something we can give to him. Something you wouldn't think first to give to him. He wants bees to get the recognition they deserve. How about a brochure of clicky films? A brochure about do-it-yourself clickies. How would you like to make a clicky, sir, about bees? Look, here's something that may interest you. You seem to know all about bees. Why don't you make a clicky about them? You could then pass on all your knowledge, so to speak. Mmm, you don't say. You know, you may just have something there. It's time the world knew the facts about bees. Aha! And off he goes. Unfortunately, he takes all of his equipment with him. So let's, uh, look at the bees. Bees! Nature's little workers. I guess we could all learn from them. Let's go... You have to be kidding. Let's go get some honey. I should put on some protection first. Ah! Are you referring to the, uh, petticoat? Yes, that is actually our protection. That is what we are going to use to protect ourselves. There we go. Now should we go into the hive? Hey, that would only irritate the bees. I need to calm them down first. Right. We can calm them down with incense. Excellent. Let us do that. Okay, right click. Incense. There. Into the hive. Now we can go get our honey. Lovely. It's... Oh, it's beeswax, sorry. Finest beeswax. Well, maybe not finest. It's usable beeswax anyway. Let's go and make ourselves some candles. Victory! Nothing at all could go wrong. That was way not too easy. There you go. I've got myself some beeswax for you. There you are. Well, here we are. Fresh beeswax. Could you please make me some candles now? Certainly, dear. Here we go. There's a candle. Yay! There we are. Candles, your highness. Oh. Well, they're... They're very, uh, neat. Can't you make them more, well... More... Dribbly. Oh, so it's for sinister arcane magics, then. Foul, mind-twisting blasphemies from beyond the outermost edge of nightmare? Hmm? Well, yes. A bit. Oh, well, you should have said, dear. No, beeswax isn't suitable for those. You're either going to have to go out there and hunt down a whale and... 
and um, do whatever you have to do, or... Or what? You could get the bees to make the special poor dribbly wax by making them sweat. You've got to encourage the bees to drink a lot. Are you making a note of this? Oh, I should put that candle away. So that candle we just made is entirely useless. However, we can make a useful candle. We will make a useful candle by making them drink a lot. And how do we make them drink a lot? We make them drink a lot by feeding their flowers chili. It's a roundabout method of doing it, but it works! Oh, how subtle you are, Rincewind. The subtlest of people. They won't at all know that you're there. They're totally gonna know you're there, Rincewind. Here they go! Now, how... Ah, there you are! They are indeed... sweating a lot. So... Now it is time to go and do the things that I need to do, which is involving the petticoat again and involving the incense again. You have to repeat these steps every single time or else you can't get the actual candle. Excellent. And we'll go get that beeswax. Now this stuff's much more dribbly. Ah, dribbly beeswax. Makes up in free spirit for what it lacks in stability. Excellent. Now we can make dribbly candles. And in fact, that is actually all of the actual things that we need. We have every single item that the Arch Chancellor wants. All of them. So now we can make our dribbly candles, hand all the items to him, and finish Here's the game, some obviously. Sweaty and dribbly beeswax. Could you make me some candles, please? Certainly, my dear. There we are, dribbly candles. Just suitable for consorting with loathsome horrors from beyond the shrieking nightmares of mortal man. Here. What you planning, Your Highness? You're not trying to put one across on your husband or something, I hope. Look, I keep telling you I am not a princess. And I am not engaged in... in summoning evil entities from beyond. We've got plenty of demons running around the university in any case. Mostly they study law. Law? Why law? It's the wizard's fault, really. Everyone keeps saying that they want a demon to do their will. Hmm. Too much setup and not enough joke there, I feel. Excuse me, I think I have to leave. Yeah, that was a bit too much setup there, Rincewind. That was a little too much setup. Let's actually go to the Arch Chancellor and hand over some of these items, shall we? And then we can leave one item to the next video, where we shall, in fact, try and summon death and go to Act 2. So, uh, here's some dribbly candles. Here we are, genuine dribbly candles. And it wasn't only the bees that sweated getting these. Hmm. Not strictly necessary, but I suppose they'll look nice. One down. Next, I think it's the glitter. Here we are, then. Glitter dust for your perusal. Ah, right you are, my boy. Excellent. We'll make a junior apprentice wizard out of you yet. But I'm already an assistant wizard. Third class. The day is still young. Oh. Well... Next item we need to give him is the vile stench that we've had in our possession for a while. Here you are, one vile stench. What's this then? Looks more like a genie in a bottle. You'll get a lot more than you wish for if you open it. And lastly, we'll give him the sticks. And then next video, we'll give him the mouse's blood, and thus go to Act 2. Look at this. Sticks. Three there are, all exactly alike. Precisely as specified. Ooh, very good. What did you do then? Just go and get some sticks from the garden? Well, I never. Well, obviously you did. Okay, when we come back, folks, we will go to Act 2. So, I'll catch you there. See you later. Later. The excitement!